Ушли и морда. Division Bell. Show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. And he landed the right hand there. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Beautiful one. Oh, big head kick. He is all about that left kick to the body. Single collar tie now. And now he's got that tie punch. And they separate. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Just missed with the left there. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, when that leg kick's coming. Oh, single collar tie here. Left hand punch with the clinch. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Stuff the takedown, no problem. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus mitts in his opponent. Plus right hand is true. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially. But now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon. Quick entry Nice single leg entry, rotates. Oh, oh, Slams him on his back, what a takedown. How's that feel to be on the wrong it end of that? Not, I mean, <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> the Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. And this might just be a matter of time. The sheer will is, is really remarkable to watch. All right, right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you gotta look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flat him out and just go for the finish. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up 
And when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands being a veteran of so many fights. On top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Luke. The ground and pound has been there all night. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling could really be entertaining. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Round two next. Stop. He might get a finish here. So here we are as our next round gets underway. I would attack in that previous round, by the way. I would attack. It was so tight, I cannot believe that he got out of that submission attempt. Nice. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Beautiful hook. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Not able to quite find that range. Switching stances here. And they separate. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. Left hand punch from the clinch. Lee gets caught with that punch. That is a thudding leg kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Back in the clinch, look for takedown. Very good at changing levels when he can get to this clinch position and get in close. Oh, huge head kick. on the straight right hand. Great punch. It's such a fast leg kick. I mean, look at the commitment for kicking in this fight. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. He goes back to that left kick once again. Three minutes. A oh, little single collar tie there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big, beautiful right hook counter. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. That's a big strike right there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And they separate. Got clip of the right hand. Big kick land. Trying to double up on that jab. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Throws the right hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. He's got to be careful to get his head to throw that jab. That right hand hurt him a little bit. That shot blocked by Lee. 
So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. All right, he engages in the single collar tie, and they separate. Good punch land. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them overwhelming him with different attacks. Bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. That's a single collar tie. And that one certainly found the target. What does he do now that he has this clinch position? Left hand punch with the clinch. All right, both fighters now continuing to try to get a more dominant position. Oh! Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. So there's the horn at the end of the round. Multiple takedowns landed for him over the previous five minutes. And you know what, John? Even more importantly, look at the opponent now. He's afraid to pull the trigger because he's been taken down so many times. Getting taken down is one thing, but getting it to you continuously really does make you gun shot. And right now, he's very tentative to let his offense go because of the fear of getting taken down back to the mat again. Third round underway. in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Just misses there with the left. What a body kick. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lands flush with that right hand. Both fighters throwing heat now. Lee's kick to the body, that one blocked by the defense. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the oh, head. Nice with that punch, his chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. All right, single collar tie now. Lee's got a bruise, and with authority, goes to the judo throw right into side control. He's inside control, he's got a ton of options. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Now, the guy's attacking the triangle, he finds himself in trouble because he got a little bit lazy in the full guard. Looks like he's trying to manipulate the head. This could be tight. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch him go parallel, right? That's, it's in there deep, there you go. Again, pick your poison on the ground with this guy. All that pressure on the side of your neck. I don't know the artery, John. I'm pretty sure you might. You get all that pressure on that artery, and it pushes you to sleep. What is it? I think it's the carotid artery, and a lot of fighters say they've got a pretty good feel for it. He certainly did there. That's why you got to have friends that are like encyclopedias. John Ennis, my encyclopedia. My guy. 
All right, so a wild round and a wild sequence there on the ground, DC. Talk us through the highlight. He's such a phenomenal grappler. I don't understand how people don't know that this guy wants to submit you. He is the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at two minutes, two seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by submission due to an arm triangle choke, Assassin! Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission, and they put so much stock into 